Hello, welcome to the Gospel of Astrology according to Seidel Schultz. I'm so excited to talk about this today because I feel so passionate about this. And in fact, um, gosh, I think it was even this morning or maybe it was like last night before I was going to bed. I saw an astrologer post this like the good relationship and I was like, no. So I'm going to pull up my chart really quick so that we can um, we can discuss this. Um, let's just get let's just dive in. Let's just do it. Let's see, here we go. All right. This is my natal chart. Now I'm showing you this because we really want to talk today about the relationships between the two different planets or between different planets. So anytime, so you have a planet and it has a voice all by itself, right? Just like us, like we have a voice. And then when we are in a relationship with someone like our spouse or a friendship or our neighbor or our children, they will amplify certain parts of us. Um, so certain neighbors might amplify parts of us that we don't really love. Um, certain extended family members and even sometimes our spouse might amplify parts of us that we would rather not be amplified. And then we have friends, and I know we all have friends like this, that amplify our best parts and uh, sometimes our spouse, right? Because our spouse is our most intimate relationship. So I don't want to say our spouse does this all the time. Um, our spouse isn't always bad or always good, generally speaking, right? Um, or amplifies the good in us or, or the bad in us all the time. They get to reflect, they generally reflect a lot of both sides of us. Um, and then the same with our children. So the same happens in the expression of each one of our planets. So our planets have relationships with other planets. They have their own expression, their own sound on their own. And then when they're in relationship with um, another planet that creates an amplification of sorts. Now, so all of these lines determine what kind of a relationship that planet has with another planet. So here we have this green line. So that's my Chiron down to my Mars. Um, my Venus down to my Neptune is another kind of a relationship. My MC to my Jupiter, that's another kind of a relationship. Um, let's see, and then we've got, um, oh, this thick purple line from my Mercury down over here also to my Mars. Um, and then we've got um, this red line right here a nice strong red line we'll take this strong red line right here a strong red line from my moon and my north node over here to my uranus okay so generally speaking this is what i've heard okay a trine so this is a good relationship this is like the best relationship right this is like best friends like oh my gosh I totally get you. I couldn't get you anymore. The purple line is like, oh, we're friends, but not the best of friends. Um, the red line is like head to head. Like, not only do we not get each other, it's like, it's not like we don't get each other. It's just like we totally believe different things and we're going to fight about it. Right. This blue line is like a power struggle. Like, <laughs> they're like, <laughs> um, it's, it's almost like a tug of war. And, and it's, people will often experience the expression of this in their life, like um, either my Venus can be expressing or my Neptune can be expressing, but they can't actually express at the same time. So it's, it's just like this huge power struggle. And then um, the yellow line is like, I don't even get you at all. I don't know how to work with you, but um and just like listening to it right now from this perspective right uh one of the things is i hear is like <laughs> i don't even want to talk to you but i have to talk to you and it's kind of annoying because you're just like 
nails on a chalkboard to me, I don't even know what to do with you. I'd really rather just ignore you, which is different than this. Um, I, I'm just seeing these like, I'm seeing examples of these in, in, in different relationships. It's like, have you ever had a relationship with someone where you're either, uh, well, the, the example that comes to my mind is um, you don't say anything, you don't say anything, you don't say anything, and then you get really mad and you kind of explode and then you say something. That's like this, right? That's like this kind of a relationship. And then you have a relationship with someone and it's like you get around them and the only thing you want to do is fight with them. Like, whereas this, it's like fight sometimes, lose sometimes, right? And this is just like fight all the time. And this is just like glorious friendship, like totally get you. And then this is just like a casual friendship, right? Um, so here is the, like, this is how I was explained um, the relationships and, and I love it and I totally agree. And it also puts our relationships between the planets in a box. Um, and I really subscribed to this until one day I was listening to a friend of mine's daughter's chart. And I, I was listening specifically to a trine of hers. Um, and I expected to hear um, all these glorious things and like this really big strength and how easy it was gonna be for her. And it was actually creating the opposite effect. So yes, the planets were working together, um, but they were working together, um, not in the benefit of her, but kind of for the downfall of her. And um, everything was <clears throat> manifesting in her home. So she had a planet um, in her fourth house that was trying another area. Um, I can't, I do not remember all the details, which is great because um, it's her chart. Um, but uh, I, I remember thinking, oh my gosh, this is not a cut and dry, like this area is gonna be easy in your life. Uh, it's just a place where these relationships, the relationship between these two planets really get each other. And, and it depends on um, how we're connected to them and how we are, I don't want to say, but the, I don't necessarily want to say this, but I'm going to say it like this, how we are allowing them to express in our lives and how we have learned to allow them to express in our lives. Because when we, when we understand ourselves at a greater depth and we allow the most true and light expression of ourselves to come forward, then every relationship in our chart is going to work to our benefit. Even the this blue line, even the tug of war, even this uh, the yellow line, even the red line, look, those will always also all work in tandem um, for our benefit and for our good. So I kind of wanted to just share that perspective with you. Um, the red line can create tension and it can create this draw. Now, what I've seen and what I've heard from this specifically, like specifically from this red line, I've got a few you can see from this red line in here is that when they start working together and when you learn to harness the power of their relationship because there is so much tension, it, it creates um, a fast forward movement. And this really beautiful, um, togetherness is similar to like how, how the trine would be, right? But, but not exactly because it's not a trine. So it just creates this powerful forward movement. And then you have the yod. And the yod will do like they will all do the same like they will all work together in this really beautiful way um actually i'm just gonna listen to it i just want to listen to it and and tell you what i'm hearing from each one of these relationships and the same thing can happen i'm gonna say this to um pause before i um i share is this can happen with 
any um, structure. So if you have a grand cross or you have a kite or you have a cradle, like all of these things can work together. I, I think of like the, the scripture, like all things work together for our good and God gave men weakness that he would seek out God, right? Uh, and, and that's the case. And, and then God then in return makes those our strengths. So all of these yellow lines, all these red lines, all these blue lines can and can, and I was want to say and will when we learn the expression and when we step into the light of each one of our signs, it can and will then become our strength, which is very encouraging and, and is very exciting to me. Okay. So I just want to listen. Okay, I this is what I'm hearing from this yellow line. <laughs> I love this so much because the expression is so different. So here you have Virgo and then you have Aries and Virgo is precision. Virgin is uh, Virgo is version. Virgo is exactness and you have then then you have Aries and Aries is just like fire it's movement it's go 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 and like virgo just does not get the the energy aries does not get um the virgo energy but when these two like this is what i'm specifically hearing for the quincux when the quincux get each other it becomes a really fun energy and i know that's going to depend like okay i'm going to I'm going to say fun like this. Normally we have this idea of what fun looks like. Fun is like playful and laughing and um, giggling like, but that's not necessarily everybody's form of fun. Like some people's form of fun could be um, relaxation like that could be fun for someone. So when we work out our relationship, our quincux relationship and create a better expression between these two planets, it's fun in their way. It's fun in their way. When we work out this relationship with the um, the opposition, it becomes a hold. Let me listen to it. Mm, this becomes peace and a place where um, there is a voice for each one and not just like a, a voice for each one, but what I actually see like in listening to this relationship between the two is um, handholding and like walking next to each other. Oh my gosh, it almost to me feels like a conjunction, like when two, like this would be a conjunction when two planets are really close to each other. So when the, when these two have worked out their relationship, it's like, walking side by side similar to this but you know a little bit different because it's a different relationship okay that is that feels so good <laughs> that feels so good all right that is really what i wanted to share today i would love to know um drop in the comments below what relationship would you love to to heal in your chart like what line here would you love to heal a yellow line a green line maybe, maybe it is a green line that you want strengthened maybe it's one of your red lines like where in your chart would you like to increase the expression of that i'm so glad you joined me for this today and like and subscribe for more of these fun videos see you next time